today I decided to take a little bit of a different approach and we are going to be covering on the Ask Reddit subreddit, what is your best joke? I used to date a pair of twins. People often ask if I could tell them apart. It was easy. Amy always wore her hair in a ponytail and Carl had a... <laughs> Man goes into a butcher's, asks, what happened to your assistant? Butcher replies, fired him. Man asks, why is that? Butcher replies, because he was putting his dick in the bacon slicer. Man asks, what did you do with the bacon slicer? Butcher replies, fired her as well. <laughs> uh, well, that's one hell of a job, I must say. What's the difference between an owl, a piano, and a fish? You can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. <laughs> this, is, this is so dumb. What about the owl? Who? Got him! Yesterday I couldn't figure out whether someone was waving at me or the person behind me. In other news, I lost my lifeguard job. <laughs> yeah, and we also lost a life. So, good job. Two hunters are out in the woods when one of them collapses. He doesn't seem to be breathing and his eyes are glazed. Pause. The other, <laughs> the other guy whips out his phone and calls the emergency services. He gasps. My friend is dead. What can I do? The operator says, calm down, I can help. First, let's make sure he's dead. There is a silence. Then a shot is heard. Back on the phone, the guy says, okay, now what? <laughs> This is the one that got me the most upvotes on the subreddit jokes. A lawyer, a priest, and an engineer meet every week for a game of golf. One day, they get stuck behind the slowest group of players they had ever seen. They were hitting the balls all over the place, getting stuck in just about every trap and patch of rough, and missing just about every putt. Finally, the group gets frustrated and heads to the clubhouse to find the manager. What's with that group of players? They're the worst I've ever seen. They're holding up the course. The manager looks sheepish. They're retired firefighters. They lost their eyesight running into a burning orphanage to save the children. They love golf, so I let them play for free for charity. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing already. <laughs> the priest looks ashamed of himself. As a man of God, I feel terrible for getting angry at those men. At my next sermon, I'll see if I can get a collection going for their families. The lawyer likewise looks chagrined. Same here, I'll check with my firm and see if we can't open a case to get them awarded restitution for their pain and injuries. The engineer says, why can't they play at night? <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. If they're blind, they just play at night. <laughs> Bear walks into a bar and says, can I have a Coke? Bartender says, what's with the big paws? Bear says, I don't know, I was born with them. <laughs> you get it? What's with the big paws? All right, you guys probably already got that. I didn't have to, I didn't have to do that illustration. A snake walks into a bar and the bartender asks, <laughs> how? <laughs> a blind man walks into a bar and a chair and a table. <laughs> what do you call a dog with no legs? You don't call it, you go get it. <laughs> These are so, that's so bad. It doesn't matter, it won't come anyway. Oh, poor legless dogs. It's kind of a long one, but a good one. One day, St. Peter was manning his station at the pearly gates of heaven, denying or allowing people to enter heaven. Eventually, a guy comes up and starts talking to Peter, and Peter says, tell me about the day you died. The guy says, man, it was terrible. I got off work early to try and catch my wife cheating on me, as I'd expected she was. Well, I got home to my fourth floor apartment and found my wife wet and in bed. Obviously, she had just been having so I searched all over my fourth floor apartment and couldn't find anyone, so I decided to have a cigarette in my balcony. Lo and behold, I looked down and saw a man hanging by his fingertips. And in a rage, I grabbed a hammer and smashed his fingers. Lucky for him, he landed in some bushes and started to scramble out of them. So I went and pushed my fridge off the edge. It landed on him and unalived him. But the act gave me a heart attack and I died. <laughs> Peter let the man in and asked the next guy, tell me about the day you died. The second man said, man, it was awful. I was in my 15th floor apartment doing acrobatics, but see, I have a better range of motion if I'm when I do my acrobatics, but I misjudged a jump and fell out my window and off my balcony. 
Luckily, I caught myself with just my fingertips on the 14th floor apartment balcony, but then some crazy bastard came out and smashed my fingers with a hammer. I managed to land in some bushes, but as I was trying to get out of the bushes, the mad lad dropped a fridge on me and I died. Peter chuckles to himself and allows the man entry. Then Peter turns to the next man and says, tell me about the day you died. The third man says, okay, so get this, I'm hiding in a fridge. Okay, 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 I'm not trying to gas this joke up. But <laughs> Three men, one British, one Japanese, and one American are trekking through the jungle when they're suddenly captured by a tribe of cannibals. They are brought to the chief who tells them, we're going to unalive you, eat you, and use your skin to make our canoes. However, we allow you to choose how you die. The Englishman asks for his gun and a single bullet. He loads it, points it at his head, and says, God save the queen. Bang. The Japanese man asks for a sword. They give him a sword. He says, for honor, before committing harakiri. The American asks for a fork. They give him a fork and he starts going to town on himself, stabbing himself all over his arms, his legs, his torso. He's bleeding like crazy, but he's not dying quickly. Finally, the chief asks what he's doing. The American looks him in the eye and yells, your canoes. <laughs> that sounds like an American. I'm not going to lie to y'all. <laughs> that sounds like an American. My p*** used to be in the Guinness Book of World Records, but then the librarian asked me to take it out and leave the building. <laughs> Did people do that? Did they just smash it in a book and like, you know? Three men had a very late night drinking Guinness. They left in the early morning hours and each went to their home. The next day, they all met for an early pint and compared notes about who was drunker the night before. The first guy claims that he was the drunkest, saying, I drove straight home and walked into the house. As soon as I got through the door, I blew chunks. The second guy said, you think that was drunk? Hell, I got into my car and wrapped it around the first tree I saw and I don't even have insurance. The third guy proclaimed, damn, I was the drunkest by far. When I got home, I got into a big fight with my wife, knocked a candle over, and burned the whole house down. The room was silent for a moment. Then the first guy spoke out again. Listen guys, I don't think you understand. Chunks is my dog. <laughs> Dude, come on, bruh. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I cannot laugh at that. That is, uh... <laughs> my grandfather has the heart of a lion and a lifetime banned from the zoo. <laughs> Stephen King once said something like, People think I'm this scary guy, but really I have the heart of a small boy. I keep it in a jar on my desk. <laughs> That's pretty good and also concerning. A favorite of mine that I saw somewhere is, A man walks into a bar and says to the bartender, I've got a little man that plays the piano in my pocket. The bartender doubts the man, but the man insists, If I can show you him, will you give me a free drink? To which the bartender obliged. The man takes him out, who's only about 10 inches in height, and he plays a little tune. When the amazed bartender is handing the man his free drink, the man asks, If I show you how I did it, will you give me another free drink? The curious bartender obliges, and the man says, There's a little wizard in my other pocket that grants wishes. The bartender hands him another free drink, and the man makes his third and final request. If I let you make a wish, will you give me another free drink? The bartender obliges and says, I wish for a thousand bucks. But after he says it, a thousand ducks fill the room. Angered, the bartender exclaims, I didn't ask for a thousand ducks! To which the man replies, Well, do you think I wanted a 10-inch pianist? <laughs> that, was, uh, that was one hell of a ride. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, subscribe if you want, and um, <laughs> maybe tell a couple people these jokes and see if they get a crack out of it. Anyway, y'all have a good evening or morning, or afternoon, wherever you are. Bye.